while Dr. Jolini is setting up, we have a few little quick and easy ones. What's inside the bottle? How can you tell? Uh, you can. Simply, just by looking at it, clear colorless liquid, it could be one of thousands of different compounds. You need to do analysis in order to figure out what's in it. We can do another simple analysis right here, just by pouring it out and see what we get. Probably not water. <laughs> what we actually have is a super saturated solution. It really wants to be a solid, but like Dr. Jomini commented, the surface, the inside surface of the glass, inside the surface of this bottle, is really smooth. It needs something to start the crystallization process. So I put in a crystal. I put in a crystal. There it goes. And we can see that it's starting to completely crystallize the bottle. It stays perfectly stable as a liquid until you start the crystallization and then it goes solid. Can you catch? Can you pass the little girl behind you? What can you tell me about it? It's hot, it's warm. This is something you could do tonight if the malls are still open because it is the same chemical that one would find in these chemical reusable heat packs that are being sold prolifically through the malls these days. Inside of them is a little metal disc. You take the little metal disc, you flex it, and voila, it starts the crystallization. It is a completely reusable system. In order to regenerate the liquid, you throw it in boiling water for 10, 15 minutes, it goes completely back to a liquid and it's there waiting for you the next time you want to go for that nice long walk in the cold with your nylon jacket. <laughs>